Hey guys, welcome to Inner Beauty Out, and today we are doing a makeup look featuring this. Um, and I'm super excited because it was interesting putting it together, and you'll see why. Um, I really was just kind of going for a halo um, eye and a berry lip, and I, it just came. It just it worked out more better than I thought it could. And a lot of times, I don't think you guys know this, but I don't really pre-plan. I kind of get an idea of what I want to work with, but I don't pre-plan my looks until I act I'm actually in front of the camera. So, like, what you see is what you get. Like, I don't... I, I'm sometimes I shock myself with the looks that I come up with I don't practice them beforehand and it's a cool thing to be able to see how you come to you like how your mind works and how creative it can be um, during time of filming so I love that and I think that's one of the things that makes me excited about filming when I'm in front of the camera I do hope that you enjoy this review slash demo and I will see you in my next one please do not forget to subscribe also hit the notification button which is the bell sign um, next to the subscribe button that'll I'll keep you in the know when I put a new video up um, so that you can go ahead and check it out and leave a comment below I love reading it and I comment back for sure um, and I cannot wait to see you in my next one bye beauties so I also wanted to for did not want to forget to mention that um, in creating the liner um, for the eyes I actually used my makeup forever flash palette if you've never seen the flash palette this is what it looks like um, it basically has a lot of the primary colors and then some additional colors that you can mix and match together and basically you can create any color that you want. This could be eyeshadow, this could be liquid liner or eyeliner, not liquid liner, eyeliner. You can put a gel, uh, transforming gel to make it a liquid liner. Um, you can create foundation. The, the, the amount of things that you can do with this is endless and so I, I always tend to use it in terms of creative looks and more so just trying to do things with uh, the eyes and um, the lips so um, whenever I don't have a particular color I can go ahead and custom create my color with my flash palette by Makeup Forever. Um, this lasts a long time. I really 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 enjoy it. I think this was a great investment and basically what I did because I didn't have um, a burgundy liner and a nude liner. I basically custom created using um, for the burgundy I used the blue and the red and I used more so of red than blue and um, for the nude color I actually used the brown, the white and a little bit of yellow and just a tad bit of this peachy coral color right there and just pretty much mix it up and here we have it. So if you ever are in the market and are looking for something to be creative and your, add to your kit to be a little bit more on the creative end, I would suggest getting the flash palette because you can do endless things with this without having to buy tens and thousands of other different products when it's all in one. So yeah, I just wanted to share this little tidbit with you um, in case you were interested in how I created the liner itself. Let's get into the video um, using the Soft Glam palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. As we know, Anastasia does come out with a brush that goes with each of her palettes and this is the duo ended brush that comes with her palette. Um, one side is like a, like almost like a, it's a blending brush, more on the fluffier side and the other side is more of a flat shader brush, um, but it is duo fiber, which is different. Uh, what's cool about this is that this can bend backwards, which is great. So I'm going to go in with Orange Soda, and Orange Soda is this top shade right here. I'm going in with the fluffier side of the brush, and I'm just going to prop just use that as far as just tapping on like a lid, well, brow bone color, so to speak. Now that I've gotten that part down, I'm just going to add a little bit more um, of the primer potion to my lid, and I want these colors to really pop. So I'm going in with Primer Potion in the shade Caffeine. And I'm going to go for something I signaturely do. A halo eye is, I feel like, goof proof. So just making sure it's nice and even across the lid. And that. Set that bad boy some pressed powder. I'm going to use uh, the Sugar Pill Tapered Blending Crease Brush 
um, and it looks like this. Next, a little further down, I'm going to go into Burnt Orange. Just going to literally put that in the crease, like in the crease and a little bit above the crease. My skin always breaks out whenever I'm about to film for some odd reason. I have no idea why, but it simply does. It makes me look like, I mean, I know I haven't been doing the best of things, but I think it has a lot to do with my eating too. So now that, let's see, this is done. I am going to go even further and tap in Sienna into the crease too. Just a little bit. So, I don't know guys, I've just been in like a weird funk and I've been trying to pull myself out of it. Um, a funk in terms of like, I want to be creative and keep putting out content for you guys. Um, but I've had a procedure done actually um, not too long ago and I've been kind of recouping from the procedure and also, you know, just trying to get myself to get back in front of filming. It takes so much to just film these days. I don't know. But it's not that I don't enjoy it. I love it and I can watch my stuff over and over and other people's things over and over. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I really had to force myself. And it's not because I don't miss you guys because I do and I want to put stuff out there. And every time I see some, you know, old content and other people's content I'm like oh my god I want to do that you know and then I just can't bring myself to do it and I'm just trying to shake it off shake it off <laughs> all right now that that's blended out I'm gonna go in with a bedellium 2 776 and I'm gonna actually start packing on mulberry and that's what's going to be pretty much the stars of the show so as I'm packing color in, I'm just also trying to blend out as much as possible too. Um, I'm not worried about keeping a crisp line because I can always fix that with concealer. But as you can see, we've really built that out. Um, I'm going to do the same thing on the inside of the lid. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Just build the intensity until I feel like it's where I want it. No, but I, I do find that whenever I'm in front of the camera, whenever I am actually filming, I feel so good. I feel great. I feel like if this isn't like a burden to do, I really enjoy it. But I feel like whenever I build up the anticipation behind getting ready to film, that's my struggle. Like, I really wish I had dedicated space to just film without having to break up and pack things up and then redo them again like it sucks and it takes the fun out of it because by the time you sit down your creative juices are like <laughs> that was so ugly but yeah your creative juices are gone so there is a good amount of fallout in this palette um but like I said it's really not super bad I feel like um in person some of them a little bit of it oxidized just a tad bit like it's not like it's true to pan like when you first lay it but it's not bad. the urban decay primer potion in fix and I'm going to actually place it in the middle portion of the eye to create that halo effect And I'm kind of like spreading it out. I'm not worried that it's going to be too wide. Only because I could always um, shade it in with the burgundy shade. So that's what I did. I just tapped my brush in tem tempura and orange soda together. And then I'm going to go back in the burgundy color. So that I can blend out the edges so it doesn't look so harsh. 
because I just want it to be like, you know, one of those like peekaboo halos. Not necessarily so blunt. I just want to blend those out. Just keep packing until you get that color blended the way that you want it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera because I know the blending part takes a longer bit of time. So I'll be right back. Go back in with um, the mulberry color and I'm going to just bring it in um, down to the waterline and smoke that out. I feel like that will tie the look in together. And I'm using a Sedona Lace EB11 or EB21. I think it's EB11. EB21, sorry. And I absolutely love this detailer brush. It's amazing for like cut creases and getting under the eyes. I'm also going to go in and use Sienna to also like warm up underneath the eye too. And I actually like the, the smokiness of the look. I think it looks really great that way. As far as this makeup look goes, I was trying to create like, something different as far as eyeliner. I didn't want to go with the traditional black and I wanted to see how it would go. But uh, apparently I don't have the colors that I was thinking of. So I actually used my Makeup Forever Flash Palette, which looks like this. And playing in color theory, um, basically mixing a couple of things to make the colors that are on my eye right now. So I made a burgundy shade. Um, to reflect the burgundy on the outside and I also made um, a nude shade to reflect the halo in the middle um, or the center color and what I'm going to do is basically put the burgundy shade in the center and then the nude shade in where the burgundy is and just kind of create a wing liner that way so I'm gonna attempt to do this I've never done this before with a small angled brush and I'm going to have to use two. So I'm using this BH Cosmetics Small Angle Brush and I'm also using a Vidalium Tools um, 762 brush which is even thinner than the BH but I love these two. These are actually in my kit as well. So I am going to use the nude shade first to build on my line right here. This is going to be so interesting. And then I'm going to go in with my second brush uh, in the burgundy shade. Now, the tricky part is blending the shades together. So I'm going to like go back in to intensify the color and then kind of fuse the shades together. like melt it in somehow by blending them in little by little like so and then I'm going to go back in with that lighter shade to finish the wing And leave it to me to want to create such a, a bold look close to midnight. That's kind of cool though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a mess. And I feel like I want to kind of like... set this a little bit. So now this looks really crazy. Um, I'm going to take my flat definer brush and I'm also going to take this is all like the little sketches of like the colors I mixed finally to get the shade that I, I have now. But I'm going to use um, Makeup Revolutions concealer in C13 and it might be a little red but let's see to just clean the perimeter of the eye. I 
Just gonna buff out the concealer. So first I'm gonna just add some mascara just to see and guide how this is gonna work out. So. And I've decided to continue. I'm going to add black liner to the bottom lash line. I'll be using the Makeup Forever Aqua XL. So that's that. That brought my eyes out. Pow pow. And then we're going to also add some lashes. So I will add them on and I'll come right back. So I'm going to add some mascara to the bottom lashes. And this is the Upward Lash by MAC. And I love it because the actual spoolie is so thin. It really gets it. All the little hairs. You know what's funny? When I always look back at videos like this and I look back at the faces that I make while I'm doing makeup, it's like the most craziest thing. I'm going to go ahead and smoke, re-smoke out because I added um, foundation so it kind of took away from the smoked out look. Ooh just looks so much more sultry when it's smoked out. I'm going to line my lips with Max Night Moth. And for the lip color, you can either do another ombre lip but I kind of already had in mind I wanted to keep this more on a deeper scale. So I'm going to go in with Max Retro Matte Lip Liquid Lip Color in High Drama. And it's pretty much the same shade as Night Moth. Then I'm going to go in, I feel like I'm using a lot of MAC today, but um, <laughs> I am going to go in with MAC Raisin mixed with Copper Tone for my blush today. And that's just to warm up the cheeks even further. And then I'm going to go in with <laughs> another MAC product, and it's their um, Extra Dimension Skin Finish Glow With It, and it looks like this. It's really pretty, um, and I'm going to use my fan brush to apply that. Just a nice golden glow. I know I have a huge pimple that wants to make a, a premiere on this video. Um, hey, we, I guess we got room for two queens. So just do that. And this is the finished look. I think I want to add a little bit more of the lip color in the center of the lip. That's better. Alright. Now to get this crazy hair down. So this is the final look um, that I've created for you guys on this late evening. <laughs> I think it's super funny that this came to mind and I've been thinking about it for some time but I think what took the longest was really getting the liner to do that reverse ombre liner kind of a situation. Um, I've never done it before but I think it's super cool and it came out really nice. Um, and so I did find myself going back in to add black liner along the lash line just to help the lashes stand out because um, I feel like it was a little bit too strong against the lash. And um, I definitely think adding the black liner at the lower lash made this more wearable. Like you can, this is fun, but you can actually wear this out if you wanted to. So yeah, 
As far as my take on the Soft Glam palette, um, again, like I mentioned, this is my second palette from Anastasia as far as um, this is my second time purchasing a palette. Actually, this is my third time pur purchasing a palette from Anastasia. Like I've showed you before, I've yet to create a look with the Prism palette, but um, as far as my purchases with Anastasia, my first palette was the Subculture palette, and it was my first ever palette from Anastasia ever. And to say the least, I mean, I, wa I really wanted to love it. I love the color story. I love the creativity behind it, um, the vision that was behind putting that together. But the fallout was a lot, and there were a lot of shades that did not work at all. Like, there were two, of, two shades out of the palette that um, I would swatch, and I got no pigment. And I felt like it would be a disservice for me to create a video around it because there was so many videos around going on about it so I just kind of shared my thoughts on my personal snapchat about it um and I ended up returning the palette because it just I felt like it wasn't a fair shot of me trying out a, a palette for the first time and spending my hard earned money um to not be able to utilize all of the colors in the palette so that's why I ended up not really do anything as far as that went um, but it was a beautiful beautiful palette and I felt like when Prism came out it was a little bit like similar to Subculture so I wanted to grab that for sure and so far I mean I'll, I'll create a video around it but for the most part it's great I love it um, as far as soft glam goes as you can see these shades are super pigmented like literally whatever all the shades have real great pigment to them um I can't even complain I can't say anything less I will be um doing swatches of all the shades just so that you can see them um and see the pigmentation behind them um whether it's matte whether it's not I love it um I do love the soft glam packaging that it's beige although I do know that this is probably going to get dirty soon um but I for the most part and love the this classic look of it um when I saw this come out like the sneak preview of it I had to get my hands on it I was like you know what I don't care what the other um palettes were like before I really want to try this out and I think this would be great especially going into um bridal season um as you guys know I don't only do beauty on on here as a youtuber I'm also a freelance makeup artist and I predominantly work in the bridal industry beauty those who are doing special occasions and such like that and so um I think this is going to be beautiful um when working with brides as well as working with bridesmaids I really, really love this look. I don't think I've ever seen anyone create something where it's like... I've seen a lot of halo looks where they're putting the more of the satin shades in the center of the eye. And that's beautiful. But I kind of wanted to do something matte. And I, I love that I kind of went for it tonight. And um, I think what's even better about it is the liner. <laughs> um, and it, although it took me forever to create. And it does come with a brush. Um, I don't really care for the brush too much um, if I have to use it I'll use it but it's not something that I would go and purchase um, just because you know it just was like oh my god I, I had a great experience with it I want to get more um, so I, I don't really care for it um, but it's cool that the package or the palette it's cool that the palette comes with one um, just to you know have it and I think it makes the palette worth that much more um, and so yeah, I think it's great. It has all the ingredients and everything that is within the palette um, be in, on the back of it. I am going to put how much the palette actually retails for. Um, and I do know that if you do want to get your hands on the Prism palette, as of right now, it's not your standard 42 I think these run $42, 42 US dollars. Um, but currently right now the prison palette is $32 so if you want to get your hands on it you better go ahead and get you a palette because you don't want to be missing out on the Anastasia fun <laughs> so um, I do love that this palette comes with a mirror and one of the other things I really enjoy about this palette is that it's flexible um, I hate palettes sometimes that are so stiff um, that you know especially when you're trying to work or do something like you can prop this up somewhere have a, another bigger mirror and then work from it that way or especially if I'm working this as as an artist I can flip this and lay this down whoa 
I can flip this and lay other palettes down or I can lay it flat and lay another palette in, on top of it so that way it doesn't disrupt the flow of my palette arrangement. So I really enjoy that about it. Um, I definitely think that this is great for an everyday wear. If you guys want to see a second look where this could be worn a little bit more natural in the sense of just like something simple, easy going, um, whether you're going to work, whether you're going to school and you just want to look a little bit put together, I feel like this palette can do that only because of the great shades that it offers and it's definitely friendly to women of color. It's not too many cool tones. It has a great array of like warm tones in it as well. So if I put a video out, I want you guys to be entertained by the creativity that's flowing through my brain. I feel like right now I'm giving you guys like early 90s music, um, like in Vogue, like um, when Houston. I've been getting that a lot in my comments lately. Um, and I've been thinking, would you guys want to see the video that is like a Whitney Houston lookalike? That would be dope. <laughs> that would be dope. Okay, so let's get on to the swatches so that I can get out of your screen. <laughs> Just stay tuned for the swatches. shades from the palette um, I hope you enjoyed the swatches 14 shades for $42 not bad and they're really pretty they're buildable and pigmented as well um, I did find I thought that some of them may oxidize on the eye I found that with one of the burgundy shades and this deep brown called cypress umber but I definitely feel like that's just the true base of the color so whatever the color of the base is underneath will probably be the telling, um, will probably tell what the finish will look like. Um, so I didn't have any primer on my arm for the swatches that you've seen. Um, they were just swatched literally straight from the palette to my arm and they are, they came out really nice. I, I can't even like, I can't, I can't. Like I'm, even as I swatched them on my arm, I'm like gagging, like this is beautiful right 